right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot speed in the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in this matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the defense. the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, El Tigre. One of the best in the business, Herb right. Dean, is our referee tonight. Right. Right. All right, round one underway. This man is all the rage the Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall, but the fight time of the UFC, not a lot, because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. Kick checked by the Korean Super Bowl. Good, keep the pressure on him. You're doing great. Establishing the jab here. Oh, big overhand. And the fighter lands again. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the afternoon. Choi's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Oh, nice. Fighter blocks a punch. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Just over three minutes. Oh, what a power strike there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the outcome or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Oh, nice kick. Under three minutes now to go. And what is... He hurt him again. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off. And now, he's past the time to find that shot again. Choi's eye was starting to swell now. Wow, what a head kick! All right, we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage, and he really is using it. Nice punch there. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. Guess the single collar tie now. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Choi's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Overhand. 
Another punch to the head. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Short. Under 90 seconds to go. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Jab is at the point right now. Oh, straight punch. And he connects with the punch there. Under a minute to go. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look to the head there by the Korean Super Bowl. Ooh, another shot to the head. And that is, that's the danger in the engagement there. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Nice punch to the head. Found a hole for that punch. Final seconds here. to the corner now after a competitive round. And Choi's corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cut man's got his work to do now. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. Ready to fight. Ready. Second round on the way. All right, next round is now on the ground. Huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, nice jab. Oh! Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Right hook to the head, blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both... Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, big left hook there. And it's blocked. Choi's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Strike landed pretty cleanly there. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Nice jab by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, both of them are landing massive shots. Relax. Oh! Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. Great job. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of makes that fight. Big right hand lands! Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. 
So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. And that left hook landed on the button. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start at him. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body. And mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. It's starting to show itself. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that gets getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, big left. High amplitude elbow here is blocked. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh! Another one. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Round three next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as he starts to approach the end of the fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Leg kick. Yeah. Big head kick. Oh. Oh. Another big body kick land. Oh, Superman punch is good. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Blachowicz, but these body strikes really start now. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier. He was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. sequence by him mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, 
he's going to continue to attack him. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking his damage of strikes up top. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Choi's taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside position. Smart decision by the fighter to continue to attack that compromised area. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this leg as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Archie is starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. you got to move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. A oh, rip ball. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh my God, he's going right here. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Well, missed on that one. Well, we talk about these calf kicks all the time. Don't want to take too many more of those. I cannot believe how damaging that strike has become. Oh, this could be it. Oh, with authority, the body. Very nice leg kick there by Chor. Beautiful defensive skills on display. And now some distance as they pull apart. Good straight hand there by the Korean Super Bowl. One minute. Hands high, hands high. Nicely done to the body. Well, we talk so much ad nauseum about this trend of leg kicks in MMA, but oftentimes only a few can cause real visceral damage, and now you see the limp. Yeah, you start to see him limping from the damage from the kicks. This guy did not address those kicks early, and now he's paying for it. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, nice kick. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Big knee. Oh, oh, the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot Let's like that. Let's get your act together. I know you're better than this. Okay? We're not going to let this guy outwork us. You're going to go out this round and you're going to outwork him. Ready to fight? Ready. Fourth yes. round now. Fight schedule for five five minute rounds. That's oh. a strike. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh! Oh! Nice high kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Leg kick now. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, that shot cut him. 
Yeah, it did. You know, you don't expect it. Sometimes the cuts happen when you least expect it, and right now that's exactly what happened. Strike. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Choi oh. trying to make that eye swell shut, DC. Clearly, he has put a focus on targeting that area, which is already damaged on his opponent. from the clinch. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Push kick there to the body. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on them. Well, a case of pick your poison here, if you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Oh, and a high kick lands. Good series of kick. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Choi's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Oh, nice. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best. Oh, he hit him again, bro. Under two minutes to go. Straight right. He misses. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to Judge again the head kick home, and now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. It's been a crazy fight. Oh, and a head kick there. Strong roundhouse kick there. Choi's eye does not look real good right now. It actually is starting to swell shut, so that will be something that bears watching as this fight continues. Big shot to the head. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Man, he is unrecognizable as far as that midsection is concerned. Might have a fractured rib. He's going to be urinating blood for a week. <laughs> this dude's in trouble. He's in trouble. Hey, for as bad as it is right now, and this fight may get stopped because of this damage, tomorrow will be much worse. This guy does not have much fun to look forward to in the next few days. Ten seconds to go in round four. Ten seconds. Oh. Twenty minutes oh. down, five to go. So there is the horn standing ovation from this capacity crowd. Near knockouts by both fighters. Probably the best round we've seen thus far this year. Oh, man, this is the best round of fighting that I have seen for a very long time. Why did the bell have to stop? Let's just go get minutes straight. Pride rules. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready? You ready? Good. Fifth and final round. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl. Seminal moments on both sides. And you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Nice 
nice defense. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Oh! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Try to finish this fight! Gets back to his feet! Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, nice jab. He got that leg up quick. Beautiful head kick, man. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. That follow up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. So, under three minutes to go here in the fight. Keep moving, keep moving Left right combo is good. Well, the cut men have done everything that they can tonight, but these guys are handing out facials. This is crazy. Yeah, these guys are going after it, man. Both of them. Both inflicting damage on each other. And both are dealing with it and trying to continue in this fight. This is a great fight. Oh, a nice straight there by the Korean Super Bowl. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. He got hurt bad. Oh. He's hurt bad. And that will do it to Hong Shui with a huge TKO victory. Oh, my goodness. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after party. <laughs> The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 44 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight division.